Today, I'm making a custom flower petal light with white acrylic. This project starts in my laser cutter where all the magic happens. This milky white acrylic is translucent, which means some light can pass through, but most of it will be blocked by the material. When a laser cuts all the way through the acrylic and flashes on a metal crumb tray underneath it, you can see a glowing area of light through the acrylic. That makes it the perfect material for this project because we want it to shade our eyes from looking directly at the light bulb, which will be installed at the center. All of these pieces that are being cut were designed in a software called Rhinoceros. You can learn more about my process in a course that I released on Skillshare, linked in the description of this video. There are three types of pieces for this project, including two types of circular frames, two types of vertical frames attached to the circular ones, and one type of diamond-shaped piece that attaches to the vertical frames. When all of the pieces come together, the product will look like a flower in full bloom, which you'll see later in this video. To cut all the pieces that we need for this project, I'm using a Glowforge laser cutter, which cuts them out with precision. It's a great machine for hobbyists and beginners who are getting started with digital fabrication. It took roughly one hour to cut all the pieces needed for this project. Once the pieces were cut, I organized them on my work table and started removing the protective masking tape from the back of each one. I'm sure a lot of my laser cutter friends out there hate this part of the process. I usually listen or watch something while I do this for projects with over 100 pieces. Next, I bring over my Maxi Keyer super glue and start applying a drop of it at each of the slots where the diamond panels will be installed. Since there are two types of panels, I do this for one full stack of panel type A and then repeat it again with panel type B. For projects like this one, where there are a lot of panels that get installed on the vertical frames, I always install the panels onto the vertical frames first. Then, I install the vertical frames onto the circular ones because it makes the process faster and easier. When the glue dries and the vertical frames are ready to be installed, I bring over the circular frames and apply a drop of glue in one slot of each frame. I align the slots on a vertical panel with the ones on the circular frames and push them into place. You can see that the pieces have some room to wiggle and that was something that I designed into this project on purpose. This type of lampshade needs some extra room to adjust pieces as you're assembling it because the diamond shaped panels will get in the way and it helps to be able to nudge the piece until the slots align and the piece falls into place. Now we just need to repeat this and install panel type A, then B, then A, and so on until all of them are in place. Once the vertical frames are installed, we can bring over the light fixture kit, insert it through the hole in the bottom frame, clamp it into place, and install a light bulb. Before I turn on the lamp, look at the beautiful quality of the milky white acrylic glowing in the light. Now, let's turn on the table lamp and see how it looks. The warm glow from the Edison bulb diffuses through the acrylic and transforms it from the milky white color to a warm shade of orange. As the light travels through the material, it leaves a darker area on the tips of the diamond panels. The contrast created by the lampshade makes it a captivating sculptural piece in any home. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other laser cut acrylic projects and consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again next week.